Hi from London, it's Gareth here and it's Quick Tip Tuesday. Families are on my mind today. Thing is, a few months ago we had a big family reunion. I'm on my way now to the framing shop to pick up a photo I took of the event. I want to get it up on the wall at How to Get Fluent Towers. Let's go and get it, get home, get a coffee on, and then I'll tell you a little bit about the role of family in my language learning journey. Let's go. So let's get home. It seems that this time the gates are actually shut in the park, so I'm going to have to take another exit. So, family and language learning. There are two aspects I think I want to cover today. Uh, one is if you've got a family heritage which links you with a, a language. The other is if there's someone around in your family who you want to speak to in a different language. Both of these can be powerful motivators which can give you a good reason to learn the language and which can also keep you going through the tougher periods of language learning. With me it was Welsh. My father doesn't speak Welsh but his dad was a fluent first language Welsh speaker and although he passed away before I was born I was very much aware of this family background though I grew up in a monolingual English environment in Yorkshire in the north of England and when I came to be looking for a new language to learn I was drawn to Welsh for that reason and also because my parents had given me in Gareth a Welsh name and that feeling of a link with the, with the language has been uh, hugely important uh, in helping me to take it forward, giving it meaning to me. On the other hand, I haven't had anybody in my family, uh, in my immediate family, uh, who I've wanted to learn a language to speak with. So in that photograph, there weren't any other Welsh speakers actually, uh, apart from myself. Most of my father's elderly relatives who spoke Welsh have passed away and we're not in touch with the younger, more distant generations. For you it might be that you have a parent, or a grandparent, or a branch of your family speaking another language, and you want to connect with them. So my tip would be to run with this if you feel, uh, if, you, if, you know, if you have that opportunity and you're looking for a language to learn, uh, don't underestimate the help you can get then from family members who may be delighted to uh, share the language with you. And if you're already several generations away, you can still feel like I did that connection, which can be really valuable. Of course, we're dealing with identity, family history here, so there may be emotions involved. Uh, people might not always want to uh, change the language they're speaking to you in. Relatives, perhaps, if they've come as refugees, or for some other reason, but it can be a real positive uh, as you're, you know, searching for wellsprings of uh, motivation with your language learning. Has that been your experience? Have you been drawn to your language because of heritage or because of uh, wanting to speak with a family member? And how have they responded to your overtures? Let me know in the comments below, it'd be great to hear. Uh, don't forget that you can subscribe to the channel, that would be great, and it would also be great if you'd hit that like button. Uh, there's a link to my free Discover How to Get Fluent video course under this, under this vlog too, uh, so sign up for that if you haven't done already. Jochen Amrando a Welchir Tronesav.